What's up guys, this is yours truly, Empress Chassie Warmington, aka All That Chats, aka Lupus Slayer. Listen guys, I tell you, I get so entertained a lot of times. I, you have to learn to have a very, very broad sense of humor. Um, because if you don't, things that people say and do on the net can, you know, you can find yourself getting really um, affected by it um, in a negative light. And... You know, as I, I just was looking at this post and I just started laughing because I'm just like, this dude really has some serious psychological issues. And it just seems really weird and strange how he is the only person, the only person that comes on my post sh to share them and to go and always want to criticize my posts. And the thing about it is this dude never even supports me at all. I don't, we've never met before or anything. Um, we've had, but you know what was like so weird about it. We have had very um, intelligent dialogues before on different levels. And so for him to suddenly just been lately, I don't know what's been going on, but lately he's really been on the attack on me for some reason. I don't know what his deal is, what this person's problem is, but I just had to laugh about it because this, I, you know, I've been, um, anytime you're moving forward and you're moving in the right track in the right direction, you know, because you have things and individuals that come out the blue to try to attack you, to try to hinder you, try to defame your character try to belittle you, try to make you feel incompetent, try to make you feel like what you're doing is is wrong and so inappropriate when you know that's not the case. Because we all know that corporately in, in business, you there, things are considered brands. That's why you trademark, you know? It's, and, and how he took my post to try to bring it into a thing of racism and into um and, and try to twist it and make it into something that is not on another level is just like beyond idiotic you know and the thing about it is like he's throwing insults he's in, in, in essence where he's calling me stupid and ignorant that's what he's calling me because i'm reading the content that you know how he's so called up elaborating or not even elaborating, criticizing and condemning my posts. However, in business, you do have what is called a brand. And I don't know what this person's issue is or what his deal is and why all of a sudden he decided that he wants to go on this rampage and this attack on me and try to defame my character by taking my posts, misconstruing them, twisted them, trying to manipulate them and manipulate you guys as well. Because see, when people do stuff like that, what they don't, what they fail to understand is that they, my business is legitimate. Okay. So when you're taking things that I post and things that I'm doing on my platform to try to taint it and defame my character and try to defame my what you're doing is defaming that's what it is it's defamation you're defaming my character you're also defaming my business and when that happens that can cause people to not want to do business with someone you know when people do things like that and he's not looking at that at all because he's so caught up in his emotions and his feelings that He's and, and 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 I know it's a lot of racial tension going on, and I understand. Yes, I know what branding originally came from and all that stuff. But guess what? There's a lot of things that we do now, from copyright to bank account to interest to credit, all of these things um, derive from an era of slavery. Let's just be realistic about it. Home ownership, getting these to property. Um, uh, businesses, business license, um, all of these things derive from an era of slavery. So why is it that this person wants to nitpick with me on certain posts and try to make my posts to be something that they're not, try to make it seem like I'm stating something that I'm not and 
try to defame my character and who I am as a person and my business and what I'm about and what I stand for. Whatever this person's personal problem is, he needs not to take it out on me because I just wouldn't have blocked him um, because I'm not going to have anybody just trying to ruin my reputation and ruin my name and my image that I've worked so hard to as working hard to build and rebuild to um, re revamp and to, you know, build, you know, to better myself all around as a human being, as a person. And as I learn things, you know, and I learn better with certain things and, and I can, and, and apply them to myself, my persona, my business, my goals and the way I pursue them in the way I handle things and deal with things. It's all a learning and growing process. So when someone takes a post that is not meant to be or should not be taken into a direction of diversity, um, of racism, um, and pretty much trying to tear me down and tear down what I'm doing and what I stand for. I have, I take that very personal because now you are coming at me and yes, we have freedom of speech and all of that. And yes, you can, it's public, my posts are public. So people are going to have an opinion about it and that's good and fine. However, you got to make sure that your opinion is not based solely on your emotions, your feelings, and that you're not taking what someone is stating out of proportion and twisting and manipulating it and making it seem like this person is being, um, it's been unruly or they're, or, or they're being, um, washed, you know, brainwashed or they're, or they're defending supremacy, white supremacy, or they're defending or, um, advocating and promoting in some form or fashion racism and supremacy and stuff when that's not the case and that's pretty much in this in essence what this person has done and this person is saying about me when that's not the case we all know that there's why everything is it's called a brand we our government name is called our name but when you take your name and you put it on a product or on a service on a business and you have it trademarked it becomes a brand that's how you are identified, brand mark, trademark, patent, copyright, all of those things. So when this person took my post to try to manipulate other people by trying to make it seem like I am promoting white supremacy and that I'm ignorant and that, you know, I'm being stupid and, you know, he's pretty much just really going in on me because he didn't like my post that has, first and foremost, it has nothing to do with you, obviously, unless you were guilty of it, maybe you're guilty of it. And that's why it offended you so much to the point where he just felt like he needed to go on an attack like that. He's the only person I have over 40, 900 followers okay and supporters and facebook family i like to call them my facebook family family members he's the only person out of the over 40 uh, out of the over 4900 that does that the only one that speaks volume about him in his mindset and how he is as a person and we had to just address it because he kept doing it and the thing about it is like for us to have been able to have intelligent dialogue on about racism, about capitalism, about systematic depressions and oppressions and, and all of these things. We have done this in, in the past, just a couple, a few months ago, if I'm not mistaken, now all of a sudden I had the blue. Instead of you talking with me, you just start sharing my posts and you just start tainting my 
my name and my image and what I'm about and what my posts are about, making them into something that they are not. So what is your deal? What is your problem with that? Like, why are you suddenly doing this? Like, what have I ever done to you personally or professionally to make you want to just flip out like that on me? I haven't done anything to you. We don't even communicate. We barely even, you don't even like my posts. You never like my posts. You, you don't even support anything that I do at all. Never. Even you've never supported anything that I've done. So what purpose is it for you to now, for this person to now start sharing my posts and just going in badgering and, and, and defaming and, um, tearing down and twisting and manipulating my, uh, you know what I'm stating and to manip to manipulate other people and to try to make other people look at me because what happens is people going to, people start, they'll look at me like, wow, you know, like, oh, she, she, you know, she's, she's, um, she's in the dark. She, she's not, um. You know, she don't know about racism and she's, you know, she's talking about this. I understand all of that. But again, there's a lot. Of, if, if, if he's going to attack me for it, then why not contact trademark? Why not contact copyright? Why not contact the U.S. government? Because they're the ones that set those things in place. And... It is true that people are caught up in brands and that's why I stated to brand because when you are not famous and popular, Beyonce is a brand. Okay. Her record records and, and labels are brands. Okay. Her clothing lines are brands. So when you're not on that caliber as a brand in society, a lot of times people are not going to want to promote your business. They're not going to even want to support your business. They want to look down on your business, you know, until you get to that status where your brand is major, like how catalog is very well known, you know, General Motors, I mean, um, General Electric is well known, um, you know, Aquafina, Coca-Cola, all of these brands, they're well known, right? And a lot of times... Even though they're more, most people will still buy those brands because they are a major brand. You see what I'm saying? So when he take my post and take it completely out of context and then share it and write these awful things and state these awful things about me, he has defamed my character. Now... I'm really thinking about maybe I'm blocking him and DMing him and letting him understand that way he does that. That's what he's doing because he's taking my posts and turning them into something that they're not. I thought about it, but then I thought it too. For what? Because I'm not going to go back and forth with anybody arguing on the internet anyway. That they are just not going to do. People show you who they are by what they do. And obviously this person must have some kind of bipolar issues or some kind of psychological issues or women issues or he's, or he's jealous or he's envious or he's a male chauvinist, you know, a womanizer, um, have or, or just have so much self-hatred in himself that he just want to target somebody and i just happen to be that emotional punch it bag that he decide he tried to use me and my and my post and my reputation as a punching as an emotional punch it bag for whatever it is that he's lacking um in his in his life and as a person but it just really it, it, it's, it's just really mind-boggling to me that some 
some people really just spend their time that they would take out their time to do that and 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 try to make something to what it's not it's just like the post that me and Melissa pop artist Melissa Rose did about our contest tonight for Halloween a singing competition and someone tried to make it into something racist racist like they took it I mean I'm just like come on people if y'all choose to be stupid be stupid on your own terms you know and on and in your own lane but don't navigate and filtrate that negativity your negativity and your insecurities or your self-hate your your insecurities or whatever it is you go through your emotional your um you know imbalanced emotional unbalanced emotional you know mindset and spirit and restless spirits or whatever is going on with you don't filter it over and try to penetrate it upon me and other people because that only makes you look bad it doesn't make that other person look as bad because people with common sense and that exercises it will look at that because they was uh, my thing is you got to look at the pattern of a person too they will have to ask themselves why is he always picking on her? Why he always just you? I know that he always is. Every time I turn around and see on his wall, he's sharing her posts, and every time he share her posts, he always just got all this negative, derogative stuff to say about her and her posts. Like what? Like he just, especially when a person suddenly start doing that, you have to ask yourself, what is it with this person? And I think what it is, um, I did a. He really started doing this mostly when I was going in about how um, I, for me being a woman and I would share my experiences that I've had with melanin and men. And it's like ever since I did that, that's when he really started. So I'm just like, okay, if you're not guilty of any of those things that I stay to see. I can only tell you my experience. It's like if a man share his experiences with me that he's had with a melanin woman, why should I take it personal when he's not general when he's not generalizing all melanin women? I never generalize all melanin men because I know quite a few very, very, really awesome, amazing, upstanding, phenomenal melanin men, young and older. You know? Um so it's just like, dude, like, what's your deal? But it's like, after I did that, it seemed like after I did that video, he started going in on my post. And I just see it like this, like my mom always say, I hit dog with a holler. Which means if you're guilty of it, then it will offend you. If you're not guilty of it, it shouldn't offend you. Because again, I see posts all the time where men generalize women as hoes and bitches and sluts and thoughts and you know just degrading women tearing women down and they do it in a generalization manner but at the same time it's not that they're necessarily generalizing all women they you know it's just like some people you know they be like these people get on my nerves or oh, i hate people or oh, people you know they're generalized the word people, but they're not generalizing every single person in the world. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's like people can take things out of context and they can take things out of, you know, make more of it than what it really is. And you, you know I mean, you can't do nothing about it to each his or her own. But my thing is when people are doing that, they have to be careful because you're going around and whether he realizes it or or not since he think he's so smart i could actually take these take that post and i can show it to my attorney and i can sue him for defamation of character because that's what he's pretty much doing it could be you can have freedom of speech but you can't defame people's character there's consequences with it i mean if i wanted to push the issue if i really wanted to make a big issue out of it and take it to another level me could do that but i don't because and i'm not because i blocked him and 
obviously whatever is going on with him emotionally, he's obviously unhappy. He's a married man, but obviously he's unhappy in his marriage. I mean, why are you sitting up here picking a grown, you are good and grown behind men over 30 in your 40s, if I'm not mistaken. And this is what you sit around and do with yourself. How productive are you being? And I don't even owe you nothing. I don't owe you anything. You don't owe me nothing. I don't owe you anything. But defaming my character like that and tainting my name and my reputation or attempting to by creating, trying to create my a uh, 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 a discord between me and other people because people are seeing these they're seeing these posts so when you take my take someone's post it's not even just my post if anybody is doing that you take your other people's posts and you're defaming them because you disagree or you don't like their posts or you going through something whatever you know there's a thing called consequence with it and a lot of times people, they don't, they don't sweat it. They just be like, whatever they laugh about it. They keep moving. That's what I did. I laughed and I kept moving because it was just funny. But the reason I had to call it out is because he kept doing it. This is not the first, second, third, fourth, or fifth post that he's done that too. And he's been just really uh, consistent with it. And for whatever reason, He's never even bothered to DM me to have dialogue like stated or to talk with me. I'm, I don't need to reach out to you. I'm just, all I'm doing is every time you do that, I'm doing screenshots and I'm just going to build a file. So in the future, if anything comes back as a resort, result of you defaming my character, like something negative come back around. And then I start seeing this going spreading and you're, you've spread it, this negative reputation about me and my, and my character that, then, then yeah, I would, I would have my evidence to prove that this person was the one that started sharing my posts and start tainting my reputation and my name and defaming my character because of whatever issue he got going on with him. Or whatever reason he has. So it's just really. It's really ridiculous. Because this is a good and grown ass man. <laughs> I mean my son don't even do stuff like that. My son has never did that. My son has never shared nobody posts. And did nothing like that. Even when he was in middle school. When he in high school. He didn't do that. He's a, he, he, He'll be 21 next year. But he don't even do that. Like he don't do stuff like that. And, and I'm just, it's just really my uh, uh, blowing to see a grown behind man that's over 35 years old doing this. Who's married. You're married, man. And this is how you conduct yourself. So this is who you are. I'm just like... In a way, it kind of is, I don't know how to really say it, but in a way, it's kind of amusing and flattering at the same time because it's just like, you let me get up under your skin that much and I don't even know you and you don't know me. What I post bother you so much to that degree that you have to continuously try to attack my character defame my character and my reputation as a person and as and as a as a brand ambassador like dude do you realize that i can sue the hell out of you for that mess do you realize that <laughs> and i was just sitting up i'm like i don't really this is really cracking me up right now because i'm just i'm just really trying to process this like this dude really did that. Like he, <laughs> he's really his feelings like that for no reason. No freaking reason. I don't know you. You don't know me. And 
I don't know. It's just really, it's, it's really crazy. This is hilarious to me. And you know what's like really funny about this too? That I think about it. He and I was actually supposed to have did a, a video on Facebook live. Talking about racism and um, economical systematic oppression and all that stuff. This was like maybe about four or five months ago. Because he was live. And I liked what he, some of the things that he was saying. And, um, you know, I would just chime in and, you know, when you chime in people, they speak some people in a way, you know, when you chime in, they'll speak to you. And so, um, you know, I was giving my opinion on, on things or whatever. And we start making dialogue about the conversation. And I can't remember exactly the title and the um, the title of it, but it it has something to do with systematic um, slavery and, and um, oppression and injustices and stuff like that. And we were supposed to have did a video alive, so I'm just this. That's why it's like really, it's kind of bothersome. I don't want to use the word bothersome. It's more like it's just surprising. I'm just caught completely off guard like I'm taken back by the way he has been um acting towards me because I'm not understanding where that energy is coming from and why he, out of all the people that are my Facebook friend uh, family and friends he's the only one that has been doing that. The only one. I mean people have voiced their opinions. And stuff like that. But I haven't had anybody just. Take any of my posts. And completely twist it around. And make it into something that is not. In a negative light. That's the thing. Like, If you're going to do that. I If you're going to bring that up. That's fine to educate. People about what branding. How it originally started from. That's fine. But when you start bashing people and calling me names and derogatory names and um, trying to defame my character and take my reputation like that, then you've taken it uh, to another level because you're making my post out to be something that it's not. As a, you, you making my post out to be a symbol of the promotion of white supremacy, and I, uh, uh, and as if I am, as if I am condoning it, because I'm using the word branding or brand when that's not the case. So I, I have a problem with that. And I just had to do this video because I don't, I want people to hear from me and understand. So if there's, if by any chance this with him sharing that, I don't know if he can still see it since I blocked him or what, but if by chance that has, it, it causes any kind of issue with me. Am I and or my business moving forward? I would have this as my proof that he's the one that did it, and then I would be able to sue him for defamation character. I can still do it now, but I'm not going to do that as long as because people, you know, people say stuff or whatever. But as long as it doesn't backfire in a way where it start affecting my business, start affecting uh, my reputation, start. Uh, affected my character and who I am as a person then I'm good you know so I just had to share that that is that was just a lot and so I was asking um you know trying to get people's insight and opinions about it or whatever but it, it was it was just weird but oh well y'all take care join us tonight 8 p.m on instagram um one onesies that's the that's the word one o n e z z z with m rose 
like the flower rose and then all that chess on instagram you can follow you have to follow us both to compete and to win you know to have an opportunity to compete and if you get the most votes you win so make sure you tell your friends and stuff to come on and cheer you on and stuff like that because whoever the viewers vote for or is the one who's going to win and if you wear a halloween onesies and you sing and you win then you get an additional bonus cash prize with that okay so take care job bless one love peace and i'm out like a light